time to check some more hacks, integrations, components and themes. Today we'll be looking at just three of them, but I think they will be worth your time. We'll start in a couple of seconds. I don't usually cover themes, except L cars, which I did about two years ago and I'm still using, but I think that this one is fun, so I'm going to share this one with you if you haven't already seen it. This one is called the Vision OS theme. What I'm liking about theme is that it already has built-in light and dark theme inside one theme and I'm usually running two different themes to cover both light and dark version of my Lovelace or UI in Home Assistant. But yes, it also has a new feature and that is the blurred background or background inside the UI. So let's get started with the installation. This theme is still not official part of the hex. So what we need to do is we need to either press on this one here to add the repository, custom repository to the hex, or what you can do is copy the URL and paste it inside the repositories list or custom repository list inside hex. I will be doing it the hard way or the longer way. We go to the hex, frontend, three dots, custom repositories, paste the URL, select category which is theme and click on add. After it has been added you can either click it here in the new repository list or go to explore and download repositories and type in vision for vision os theme. Click on it, download, download. The latest version of the theme at the time of the recording is version 1.1 and now you can click on your name or the icon inside the navigation bar, scroll down to browser settings, click on theme Select Vision OS, automatic, or you can go for light or dark. I'll go for auto, and that's it. Now your UI will look as modern as Vision OS. Besides having the nice visuals, this theme doesn't add anything else because it's not an integration, it's not a front end component or card, it's just a theme for your UI. Next one is for all of you that like to watch the night sky, and it's called Lunar Phase Card. Yes, there is already Moon integration inside Home Assistant that you can use and it can provide you some minor information about the current Moon state, but this one is much more. So let's get started with installation of this one. Once again, this front-end component is not part of the official hacks list, so we'll need to copy the link and paste it inside the custom repositories. Three dots, custom repositories, paste the URL, select category Lovelace and edit. You can now install it by clicking explore and download repositories or just click on new repository that should be presented on your main screen. Let's click on it, click on download, download. The latest version at the time of the recording is version 1.00. Reload and this should be it. Inside your UI, wherever you want to add this card, click on it, edit, add cards, search for lunar, for custom lunar face cards. And there you have a couple of options. You can change the longitude and latitude. This can be beneficial if, for example, you didn't specify your default longitude and latitude inside Home Assistant. You can make a compact view. You can show or disable background. And you can, as we said, use default longitude and latitude, or you can specify here one in the list. Or if you're interested, the code looks like this. Let's click on save. And this is what you will get inside the UI. You have information about the illumination of the moon, Moon age, moon rise, moon set, moon highest, at what time. But we also have additional information such as distance, azimuth, altitude, next full moon, next new moon. Plus, you can click on a calendar and see for the previous, next day, today, or select any future or past date. Really, really awesome card, not just in terms of functionality, but also style. I really do love the images and graphics of this card. So if you do end up using this card, please go to the repository of the author and give him a star for the awesome project that he did. And the last thing that we will be looking at today is this LLM vision or large language model vision that can use multiple AI systems. For example, OpenAI, Anthropic, Google Gemini, local AI, Olama. So what does this integration do? This integration, if you already have or are using any of the providers, do interpretation of what the camera sees. It can be either static image or a video. I haven't played with video, but I did play with images and they are correct. So let's get started with the installation. 
I will be using this one with the OpenAI since I'm using OpenAI, already have it inside Home Assistant, a couple of systems with OpenAI, also have subscription there, but you may choose and go for whatever platform is currently supported. And in terms of supported platforms, we have, as I mentioned, OpenAI, Anthropic, Google, Local AI, and Olama. In terms of installation, also this integration is not part of the official hacks list. It still hasn't been approved and added to it. So you will have to either click on this one here to add this at the custom repositories, or once again, copy the URL of the GitHub repository and paste it inside custom repositories list inside hacks. In hacks, integrations, three dots, custom repositories, paste the URL, select category integration, click on add, and now the repository will be added to the list. Close it, either scroll the list and find it inside the list, or click on explore and download repositories and select LLM vision. Click on download, the latest version at the time of the recording is version 1.0.2, download, and since this is integration, what we will need to do is restart Home Assistant. While Home Assistant is restarting, you can of course go to the repository and click on start to say thanks to the author. The link to this GitHub repository and also previous GitHub repositories will be as always down in a video description. Now we are ready to continue with the installation. My Home Assistant does captures if there is motion on any of the cameras and it created images. So we are going to play with this image here. Click on add integration, type in LLM for LLM vision, select provider, we mentioned OpenAI, Anthropic, Google, Olama, Local AI. I'll be using OpenAI and we also need the API key. Since I already have a bunch of keys, I will create a new secret key, call it LLM Vision. We will create it. Done. And inside Home Assistant, paste it, submit, and this should be it. We now can go to Developer Tools, Actions, type in LLM for LLM Vision Analyzer. We'll be using OpenAI. Model will be GPT-40 Mini. Prompt can be describe what is person in image doing. We will select image entity, saved image, but you can also specify the path, for example, this part here, target wide, details high and low, maximum tokens, and the temperature. Let's click on perform action, and you should receive response. In this case, the person in the image appears to be engaged in an activity on a balcony. They are standing near a table or ledge, possibly tending to plant or organizing items. The setting features spotted plants in view of greenery in the background. Individual seems focused on task, although the specific details of what they are doing aren't clear. And this is how the service works. So what you can do with these services? You can of course automate it. If you have cameras such as for example railing cameras that have pet, person or vehicle detection, you can use trigger for that camera or from that camera to create a capture or save the image on disk, then send that image to the OpenAI or any other service provider to give you interpretation of the image. But remember, this one is using tokens. So be careful if you have a lot of false positives for your camera detection, which I do not have that many on my real cameras, they can also eat up the money. So. You have to play with the settings and decide if you want to do this on each and every image captured or not. But you can also play with the prompts. For example, you can replace this one with a default that is suggested on the integrations page. Describe what you see and it will give you a broader description, for example, this one here. Or you can narrow the description, for example, describe what the person is wearing and it will give you the answer that the person in the image is wearing a light blue short sleeved shirt and beige shorts. I really do think that this is an awesome integration and I would really like to see also what use cases have you thought of and where are you using this custom component. This is it for this Home Assistant Hacks video where we've looked at one theme, one custom integration and one front-end integration or Lovelace component. I really do hope that you did find any of them useful and interesting and that you will be implementing some of them in your future system. Also, if you have found any custom integration, custom component that I still haven't covered in my videos, please drop the name down in a video description because I would like to see what you are using, what you are liking and what are some of the things that you would like to see videos on. If you did like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button to tell YouTube that this is a good video and that more people should see it. And before I end up the video, as always, 
I would like to say thanks to all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, shared, liked or commented on my videos. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can of course become a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month by clicking the join button down below. Or you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. Last but not least, as always, you can send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.